Hey everybody, we're back on the river and we, we left our home base and we found a new river. We've been here before, only one other time, but we're out here. Uh, there's tons of storms rolling through. The river is on the rise. Um, we've got 10 of our catfish KO bank bulls. First one over my shoulder is set with a very active bullhead. And uh, we're going to be here for a couple nights. We're hoping for the best. We'll see if we can if we can beat the biggest one of the year. It's going to take a lot, but we're going to do we're going to do what we can. Fish on. I think it could be a nice one. Feels good. spawn so this is a pretty good indication of the spawn kicking in we've caught a bunch of these small assuming male flatheads uh, they're they're moving around and the and the bigger females are probably in the nest laying eggs so goodbye um, since we're on the road we're not at our home river we're not near our families uh, we got plenty of time this time so we decided to uh, take you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, whatever we want, and just kind of bank up here and uh, actually pitched out some rod and reels. This is not something that we typically do. Uh, again, we oftentimes don't have time, but since we knew we would have a little bit more opportunity here, we uh, took some of our gear and, and pitched it out. We don't have we don't have your high-end rod and reels. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just you know some of the stuff we used for carp, honestly, but. Um, we got a few poles out here, a couple bullheads swimming around on the bottom, and a little bit of uh, cut up bluegill we chunked out. So we don't have very high expectations, but uh, hey, we got time, so we're going to give it a shot. I think Brent will kind of show you here a little bit on just kind of where we're setting. It's a gorgeous day and a gorgeous river, so can't get much better than this, anyways. We got a little bit of a log jam there. He's painted around. You can see the log. We're in a nice current break. Um, our bullhead are set in a calm spot behind the log jam. And uh, we've got a little bit of a cut bluegill pitched downstream a little bit. Uh, still on the current break, just away from structure. So just kind of casting out and seeing what we do. Again, low expectations, but heck, you don't know unless you try. Fish on. Moments after. I think that's a snag though. Uh oh. I think we got it out. Worked it out. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Fish on. It's like a nice yeah. fish. Nice little channel. Nice guy. channel cat. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> Heck yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, here we go. That's something else. Little guy. Nice hook set. Just using your basic, uh, kind of your Carolina rig. Some sinkers of bead down to a swivel. And he's got a snelled leader with, uh, I think, a four-aught hook. Tiny little four-aught hook, yep. Circle hook. 
There it is. Look at that. Good little guy. <laughs> Did not expect that, but that was a pleasant surprise. He liked the cut bluegill. We're going to send him back home. Well, that marks the end of this road trip. Um, we've fished a lot this year so far. We're finally up against the spawn. We, we caught a bunch of, of smaller males. And one nice fish, uh, I think it measured 37 inches, so it was probably somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds. We don't weigh a lot of the fish anymore because we really don't care. Um, we can't ask for too much. Our, our trip before this one, um, we, we caught our biggest ever, and it was a monster of a fish. So as, you see, as you've seen in a previous video, I'll put that up, I think, up over here. So I guess that, that's it. We, we can't ask for too much more. We had a lot of fun. We, we got away for a couple days, and uh, we still caught fish. So can't ask for much more than that. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching.